Happy Monday, or should I say, Happy Mindful Monday. And welcome to our first Monday together. And Mondays are all about awareness. And you may have heard the buzzword about emotional intelligence. And I refer to it as emotional wellness. And employers are actually concerned about emotional intelligence and want to hire people with a high level of emotional intelligence. So what is that? Emotional intelligence and emotional wellness is our ability to identify, recognize our thoughts, our emotions, our mood, how our mood and emotions impact how we show up, how we interact with other people, and how quickly we rebound. So I'm happy to report that my emotional intelligence score has greatly uplifted. And I'm a little embarrassed to say how low it was for so many years of my life. But that's the beauty of working with the mind. We have room for improvement and with tools and with coaching and with support, we create change. So the first step in emotional wellness, emotional intelligence is awareness. We do not want to live our lives on um, autopilot. Good morning, Joe Helen. We don't want to be on autopilot. Autopilot keeps us stuck. Every stuck spot in our life is based on a thought or a belief that we have. So if we don't recognize our thoughts, if we don't investigate them for their truth, then we will continue to live by that statement. And if that emotion, if that thought produces an emotion like anger or frustration or sadness or hurt or feeling less than, why on earth do we want to cling to it? Why do we want to embrace it as if it's true and that we have to live our life feeling like that? So Mondays are all about getting to understand, think about, observe, explore our thoughts, our emotions, our moods, and also how they impact our wellness and how we really want to be in life. So we're going to take a big, well, not going to take a big deep breath yet. I'm going to ask us a question, ask you a question, and whether you're live or whether you're watching the recording, I want you to think about the answer. And let's do that first. So how are you feeling this morning? Or how are you feeling in this moment, regardless of when you witness and watch this video? Now take a big breath. Blow it out. And type in the comment section how you are feeling in this moment. Be brave, be courageous, and if you really don't want to, don't. But it's really good to start letting some of this stuff out, to start recognizing our emotions and sharing them with others because when we do that, they're not as scary. They are not really the monsters that we think that they are. All right, so that's step one, to understand that we are responsible for how we feel. And by living on autopilot, we often are just overrun by old thoughts in the mind. So there's going to be a couple of things you're going to get today, some links. One is, if you're not familiar with an emotional wheel, I want you to become familiar with an emotional wheel. So if you're having a difficult day and if somebody asks you, why are you upset? What are you feeling? And if you tend to respond, I don't know, then this is going to be a really helpful tool. When we begin to explore the mind, we need to remind ourselves to be patient, to be consistent, to be curious, and to use the props, the the tools that are given to us while we are practicing. It's okay not to know it all, and it's really fun once you get started to see where your mind is taking you. So an emotional wheel is really important for this next exercise. 
The next thing we're going to do is we're going to begin an exercise to identify thoughts, emotions, mood, and stress levels and how we want to be. I will leave um, either a link or a picture to the prompt that you will use. If you do not have a journal <clears throat> or a notebook, please get one. It's part of ritual. It's part of habit. Our mind loves habit. Our mind resists new things. Our mind loves it when we make something new a little bit more comfortable. The mind is more receptive to embrace that action. So get a journal and use it for your practice. So you're going to have some prompts. The first one is I want you to journal what is bothering you today. And if nothing is bothering you today, you can say, I am in a really great mood. Um, this happened today. Okay, so just name some things that happened um, yesterday or today at the end of the day. You want to name some things that happened that may have triggered you. Now, let me go back to the journal. When you do this exercise, I want you to allow for 5, 10, or 15 minutes. So now might not be the time to do it. You can always come back to it. And then when you're about to do it, shut off distractions. Get away from your phone, shut off the music, shut off the TV, find a quiet space, take a deep breath, and then ponder these questions. It will make a difference in changing your mindset moving forward. So establish some rules, ritual, embrace them, and let's get to work. So you will list anything that happened today that stirred some type of emotion. And then you want to identify the emotion. And on a scale of one to 10, you want to identify how stressful that scenario was or is. Okay, so on a scale of one to 10, how much stress is it causing you in your mind? If it is causing you stress in your mind, it is causing stress in your energetic body and your physical body and your spiritual body. So we want to start to recognize this. And finally, what is your desired emotion? How would you like to feel even if nothing else changed in that same circumstance? So I'll give you a few examples. One, what is bothering you? I am stuck. This is an example. I am stuck in this stressful job. I can't even see an end in sight. The emotions, frustration, anger, doubt, right? We want to start to list all of the emotions. And then when we have our emotional wheel, this is really helpful because we're not accustomed to naming our emotions. And we want to become more literate, more efficient in doing that. So I'm skeptical. I'm irritated. I am feeling inferior. Right? I'm feeling ill-prepared. Any of these things you want to... you. We don't want to hide them. We want to bring them forward. Every stuck spot in our life stems from a thought. So if we do not investigate our thoughts, we will remain stuck in the emotion that it produces. All right, so what is bothering you? My job is really stressful. I see no end in sight. What emotion, frustration, fear, fear that I'm stuck here. I feel inferior that I don't have the skills to get something new. Start exploring. At a scale of one to 10, how does this impact me on a regular basis? Oh, it's an eight or nine. I am stressed out about this. And then what is your desired emotion? Oh, I wish I was more confident. I wish I was more calm. I wish I was more prepared. So that's one example. You can use any example that comes up in your life. What if you say, this relationship is going nowhere. I'm in a relationship. It's one way. I'm so, uh, what does that produce? I'm in a dead end relationship. Sadness. Okay. Again, use your wheel. It could be frustration. It could be um, disrespect. It could be loneliness. It could be so many different things. So we want to identify anything that triggers us throughout the day. And we want to start to identify the emotion. 
rate it on a scale of one to 10, how it's impacting, how that thought is impacting the stress in your life and how would you actually like to be if you had a choice? All right, so that's our, our practice for today is I'm going to put these links in there. I want you to print off an emotional wheel. I want you to write down right now if I ask you, how do you feel? Take a deep breath and type in, give me a word of how you feel. And notice, check in with yourself throughout the day. Ask yourself, how am I feeling? Oh, this has changed. Why? What has happened? Start to investigate. Be curious. All right. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to tag me. Also, you can, if you're leaving a comment, you can use the hashtag Mindful Monday. Um, tag me. Invite friends. This is our day one. Invite other people into our community. We want to make 2020 a year of transformation, and it all starts with the mind. So let's be aware. Let's work hard. Let's support one another, and I'll see you tomorrow.